making the characters do what you want them to. So fast, tilt, hop, <laughs> and move. Wow. Hermione or the witch. I've got my person, or in this case, my daughter chose a branch. Just to place a person standing. Oh, no, you can't be one of them. That, no. that girl's got a face. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. We were coding a story about a wizard turning a boy into a frog. Thank you very much. Abracadabra. Oh no, I'm a frog! Captain Supermass, no. your superhero is looking very black indeed. Is he going to have any eyes or is that just going to be his mask? You can't catch me, <laughs> I'm a gingerbread man. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah. What I like about coding is it's creative, it allows children you know, to really sort of use their imaginations and their brains while they're doing it, you know, rather than just being very passive um, consumers of me. Coding is the language that children will grow up needing to um, use to engage with the future that technology is shaping. Um, I work in technology in any case, so I'm quite keen that my kids get it was a decent start, but just a lot of exposure to learning about technology rather than just sitting in front of an iPad or something like that. He absolutely loves coming here and every Sunday night he says, oh great, I've got my computer club tomorrow and he just can't wait to get here, he loves it. <laughs> I'm not falling asleep. <laughs>